Hello and welcome back, my beautiful froggy army, to another video. This year, I've been wanting to dress up for Halloween. I barely ever, ever dress up for Halloween, but this year, I really want to dress up, pass out candy, the whole nine yards. Today, I'm going to be attempting to create my costume. I think I chose a fairly easy one. It just takes a little bit of work, but we're going to get it done today, hopefully, or at least most of it. And I probably put who I'm dressing up as in the title or the thumbnail. So yes, I am dressing up as Timmy from Animal Crossing. Thing. And I felt like the Nooklings costume was like pretty easy. Like they have the hat, they have the apron, they have the shirt. Like it's pretty simple. It's pretty wearable. I did want to do tangy, but I didn't necessarily want to be in orange body and face paint the whole night, you know? I just thought this would be really fun and simple and easy. And maybe even you guys could recreate it if you wanted to do it. So I'm just gonna take you through my whole process. You know, we're gonna go and get everything, buy everything, do everything, make everything. So yeah, let's just, let's get started. So I already have a list made of everything that we're gonna need for the costume we need hat ears the clothes and the apron so for the hat i already ordered it and we'll go check on that in a second because it already arrived but it has some little nook leaves and like little orange dots so we're gonna need to embellish that ourselves so i put felt embellishments we're gonna have to do that so i'm gonna buy some felt for the ears i can crochet so thankfully i can just crochet those um but i need some way to attach them so either like a headband or clips or something like that we need a blue polo and then they don't wear short but I can't just wear nothing on the bottom so I'm thinking maybe some other blue shorts or maybe some khakis I don't know we'll see what we find and last but not least an apron um there's some at Joann's I already put a link on my list so I'm just gonna run to Joann's and buy them I was thinking about making the aprons but I don't think I have enough time and I think if I was gonna crochet an apron with yarn it would be a little too heavy kind of uncomfortable and hot so we're just gonna buy it but we're still gonna put embellishments on it because it still has like the little nook leaf so we're still gonna gonna do some work <laughs> this is a horrendous angle but i have the hat i just ordered one because i thought i could try to like find one at a thrift store or something but like what are the chances of finding the exact like hat that i need so this is what i ended up getting this is really nice actually <laughs> i ordered this i didn't know until after i ordered it it's like a sports like what is it called like sports clothes website it's pretty funny okay Let's see. We just need the little nook stuff. Yep. Oh, and the other thing is my boyfriend is going to be Tommy with me. So I forgot to order him a hat. So I placed another order for a totally different one. So we'll see when that one comes. Um, but yeah, he's going to be Tommy with me and it's going to be cute. We're going to be a little matching pair. So like I was saying, I think we're going to head to Joann's at a thrift store and I'll get the yarn I need for the ears at Joann's, the apron at Joann's, and then at the thrift store we can find the shirt and the pants, and I think that's it. Oh yeah, and at Joann's we get the felt to cut out the little nook leaf embellishments for the apron and the hat. So yeah, it should only take two stops, two stores. We'll see. Okay, so I found some options. We have this three pack for $18, or a single for $13 but one is white and one is like beigey tan canvas I looked at the picture I don't think white would work even though I would want to get the multi-pack but I think I'm just gonna get two of these I think I found a pretty good color match to the ears like that's the the dark sorry this is very this wow this looks really painful yeah for their for their ears their little skin their different fur colors so that's what I'm getting for those I'm gonna get two sheets I think one sheet per person should be fine to cut out a big leaf and a little leaf and little dots. All right, I think that's it for here. So as you'll hear me say later in the video, the Goodwill that I went to was like super packed. So there weren't any fitting rooms. So I was like, okay, I just have a shirt. I'll just literally try it on over my tank top. So I literally pulled into a little corner and tried it on. And yeah, it fit, you know, it fit perfectly fine. It would, it would do, it would do perfectly fine. So that worked. But then after I tried this on, then I found a fitting room and I tried on the shorts. So those fit, thankfully. And then I stumbled across all of these cow figures. Look at them. I was so obsessed. I just got home. I'm so excited. I'm gonna show you everything. So I didn't really film much at the stores because everyone was super crowded and there was like literally people in all the aisles. So felt awkward filming, but I found um, the blue shirts. I found 
this one for my boyfriend even though he looked at it and he was like i don't think that's gonna fit me so i might have to go back out and try to find him a bigger one and then i got the one for me i think i recorded me a clip of me trying that on so that's good of course you know if i'm there i'm gonna look around so i've been wanting a little shelf just like a little display shelf for like little toys like my boyfriend just got me these really cute kirby figures i wanted some like cute shelf to put them on peach excuse me excuse me peach. she's like hello okay oh Anyways, I have been wanting something like that. And of course, you know me, I love like heart stuff. So I found this shelf, so cute. The only thing is it's missing a peg. So I might just take them out because the other, there's another one that's loose, this one's loose. I might just take it out and just try to like fill in the holes or something. Cause I don't know if I would even hang stuff on there anyway. Like maybe, oh, maybe keychains would be cute. Or I might find a way to replace the pegs. I don't know. But it was really cute. It has a little sticker on it. It says Sarah and it's like a little cat. <laughs> so shout out to Sarah. It was, how much is it? $5. Has a little thing to hang it. No, I'll, I'll probably paint it and put it in my office. And then I think I recorded a clip of like all of the little cow figures that I stumbled across. I almost missed them. So I'm super glad I went back in that aisle. And I was so tempted to just take all of them, but no, I restrained myself. So first of all, I got the one that has like a little piggy and like a little birthday cake and a little chicken. Um, and this brand, let's see if I can peel off the sticker. These were all $4 each, which is not that bad. But when I was like, I bought a bunch of them. So it was a little much. These are called Mary's Moo Moo's. Cute. This, is, this one's called Buttercream Wishes. That's so sweet. Next, I got this little gal. She is baking a pie. She is so sweet. Pepper, can you not go in the bag right now? She is so sweet with a little heart shape, little pie, and little heart pockets, and her little like oven mitts. I had to get her. And then I really went hard on like the farm court kind of aesthetic. Um, because I'm my Animal Crossing Island is the farm court right now, so I was like, okay, I need these. Ah, <laughs> they're so cute. Okay, so this one is a little like apple bushel of course and the cow is like inside of them or inside of it and it's just so cute it's so cute i love the little apple out on the edge of it and then this one she's like little i don't know what this is corn i don't know what this is wheat i don't know but she's so cute i love her so much i forget this is supposed to be a halloween deck uh, costume video and i'm over here showing my cow figures okay anyway I, let me just get past this um duck basket self-explanatory had to have it four bucks um this is slightly halloweeny so mom if you're watching this i know we just had a conversation about how we don't really like halloween decor sorry for everybody else who really loves halloween decor but i never decorate for halloween or anything but i can go for some cute halloween decorations cutesy i can do that so I did find this plate and I really thought it was really, really cute. Sometimes we have friends over and we have like a little like snack kind of station on the table. So I thought that this would be really cute to like put snacks on. This will be my one Halloween thing, thing that I buy <laughs> all year. And then the last thing, I stopped at another thrift store on my way home. You are not ready for the frog hand soap dispenser. You were not ready. You were not, you were totally unprepared. Look at him look at him so yeah that's the haul i'm very satisfied with everything so i think i'm gonna stream today um i've been looking for tad the villager frog and i have not found him so i think i'm gonna stream so we will have to continue the what's it called what am i doing in this video again we're gonna make timmy's costume a little bit later i'll probably do it i'll probably start working on stuff after dinner so yeah see you later hi i'm back so i finished dinner and I thought I would get to work on Timmy's stuff. So I just realized now that I don't have that I don't clip these in my hair, like the ears that I'm gonna make, because I'm wearing the hat. But like Timmy and Tommy, the hat goes in between their ears, but it does it's not gonna work like that for me. So I have to hot glue these onto the hat, probably. So I'm gonna get to work on these. I'll probably do like a little speed crochet type of thing or something. So enjoy. So yeah, I just got started crocheting this and I totally winged it, but thankfully they came out absolutely perfect. So I was super happy about that. But for the sake of consistency, since I was gonna have to make, you know, two identical ears for myself and then also make the ears for my boyfriend's costume, I did wanna have like a pattern of sorts, just like a quick rough pattern, just so I could keep them consistent. So there will be a pattern later in this video I think it's just like 
literally a couple like the next couple of clips i show it so yeah um i will have that for you just in case you would like to like recreate this or something but it's really easy it's just basically like you just make two balls and one of them is like a bigger size and one is a little size and you just like flatten them and like stick them together but yeah it felt really nice to like crochet because i haven't really been doing it that much the only things that i've been crocheting is i've been working on this blanket but it's literally just double crochets the whole way so it's kind of boring mindless but I do it while I'm like on the couch watching TV so it was nice to have like something that was like more structured I guess you could say like just a quick easy little thing that I could finish that wasn't just like a flat like rectangle or square for me to do you know so this was really fun and relaxing to do and I hope you enjoy watching this I hope you've been enjoying this video this is very different from my usual content well I guess if you watch my vlogs it's not that different from a vlog but um, yeah, I, I've very much been enjoying this and some of you guys have been asking me for more Animal Crossing like crafts or like showing crochet stuff So I thought this could be a good mix and also, you know, be related to Halloween So we get the best of both worlds from all angles, you know And also if you would like to recreate this, I didn't mention it um, in the next couple of clips where I where I show you my pattern But if you want to recreate this, I would use worsted weight yarn um, that's gonna be your best bet. So just, just to like keep it at the same size as mine. If you want to make it bigger or smaller, you'll have to use a thicker or thinner yarn. But I used worsted weight yarn, which is like the most common yarn that you'll find. If you just look at like the common brands, the cheaper brands that are at the craft store, those will be worsted weight yarn. So I use the brand Big Twist. I think it's at Joann's, so you can use that, or Red Heart Super Saver, or anything like that. Worsted weight will be totally fine. It should say it on the label. Just check it if you're uh, there at the store shopping. So anyway, once I finished the outer part of the year, I worked on the inner part, which was just straight pink, so that was pretty straightforward and easy, and I just made that super quick. This was really easy. They were all very quick to whip up, so it was very nice. Very quick. Easy. Love it. Okay, so I just finished the ear, the first ear. I think this is a pretty decent size oh it looks so cute i'm so excited about this um so basically i just make like a little literally just make a ball but i do this color at the end and then you literally just flatten it and then i did the same thing for the pink um i will put a pattern up on the screen because this is really simple like i'll just put a pattern and i used a g-sized crochet hook so i am working on the second one this is how far i am so yeah i will check back in when that's finished i don't know if i'll finish them tonight or if I'll finish it tomorrow. I don't really know. It's getting kind of late. It's already midnight, so we'll see. So next up for the nook leaves that are supposed to go on, I just printed out a big one and a little one on a piece of paper. Um, I don't know why I made them green. The color literally didn't matter. But I just kind of like placed it to make sure that the sizing was right, and I thought that looked okay. So I was gonna go ahead and move forward with those. So I'm just cutting these out to use as a stencil. These are gonna be a stencil, so you don't need to print them with like color or anything. They can be black and white, it doesn't matter but I'm gonna go ahead and cut them out and then we're gonna use these to trace on our felt that we got our orange felt and cut out the nook leaves so yeah you might have to play around with the sizing thankfully I got it right or got it looking okay on my first try um, I just literally googled like animal crossing leaf or like nook leaf and I just pasted it into like a google doc or like a word doc and then printed it super easy so you can just do that and then just cut it out does not have to be perfect does not have to be perfect at all so yeah and then we're gonna go ahead and trace that onto our felt um you will see my boo-boo here in a moment but make sure that you are tracing and putting the marker on the side that is going to be not visible if that makes sense you'll see in a second but i'm doing it wrong here so you could see the marker if i was gonna hot glue it onto the apron but there it is and we're just gonna go ahead and cut that out okay I finished but I am so dumb I accidentally did the the this on the this and did this on the I it's supposed to go on the apron this way and you can still see the marker lines I should have flipped it and then traced it and then cut it out so the marker would have been on the back. So now this is an issue. <laughs> I read online that rubbing alcohol could maybe take it out so I'm gonna try that. Okay so I did a little test section beforehand. I did a line here and yeah it looks like rubbing alcohol is gonna get the job done. This just literally 
literally comes right off. I put a little, a big section right here. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. Oh, perfect. Yeah. This just works very nicely. I used this stuff. I don't know if that's the same as rubbing alcohol. It was just what is under my sink. There we go. I think I got it all mostly off. So that's looking good. So yeah, thankfully my mistake was easily fixable. So if you make the same mistake, then I figured out the solution for you. But to avoid all of that, you know, of course, either turn it around, you know, trace it on the side that's going to be not visible or use chalk or something that's going to be able to rub off easier. I think people use like chalk whenever they're sketching out patterns like that or marking things, but I don't have chalk anywhere. I never use it for any stuff like that, so I didn't have it. So I literally just use Sharpie, but here you can see I learned my lesson and I put it facing the other way. So yeah, we did not make the same mistake again, thankfully. So same process here. We're just going to trace it, cut it out, and then um, once you cut it out, kind of like I went around and like fixed up any bumpy edges but it doesn't really have to be perfect like you know it doesn't have to be the most amazing nook leaf you've ever seen but sharp scissors will really help you cut the felt if you have them mine were not that sharp but it worked out and I cut out the little circles those were kind of a pain um I would recommend tracing those because I didn't trace them and it was hard but yeah now I finished the ears and I was trying to figure out how I'm gonna glue these onto the hat I just had this open like I didn't sew the outer circle shut so I kind of decided I was like all right maybe if I'm gonna hot glue these on the bottom I better sew it shut so that's what I ended up doing next I don't think I show it but I just use a little tail and a yarn needle and I just sew it shut on the bottom so that's what I would recommend doing and then after that I got to work hot gluing the embellishments onto the hat this was kind of tricky because the hat is like not a flat shape so the felt was like kind of having a hard time sticking but I got everything all stuck down and used an obscene amount of hot glue to hot glue the ears um again if you want all of this to be permanent I would recommend sewing with needle and thread I just use hot glue because I am lazy and I wanted it to be done fast and yeah there it is look it's so cute oh I was so happy okay hello it's the next morning um I wanted to wait until today when we had actual like good lighting to show you the final fit so we're kind of almost done with it doing the last finishing touches I did my makeup for today. <laughs> I guess this is what I would do. Um, just like a little nose. I'm not really gonna stress about makeup too much. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair. I have them in braids right now because I'm gonna stream today and I wanted it to have like waves. So I don't really know what I would do on actual Halloween with my hair, but we'll see, we'll see. So the last thing I have to do is put the nook leaf on the apron and that's just simple hot glue. I'm gonna plug in my hot glue gun and we'll get to work and I'm gonna show you the final fit. I'm so excited. This came out so good. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy with it. Um, this came out exactly how I thought it was going to. So yeah, I don't really know where to place this. I'm just gonna do it like in the middle, like as much in the middle as I can. Uh, if I was smart, I would iron this first. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. You know, let's not let's not leave wrinkles and stuff. I want this to actually look nice. Okay, so I went and quickly ironed it. There's definitely still some wrinkles that I couldn't get out, like the creases where it was folded, but it's definitely a lot better, especially on the top. It's like nice and smooth now. Also, please ignore all of the messes in the background. I know that they are there. Trust me, I'm well aware. <laughs> just gonna just go crazy with the hot glue, really. I just make sure to get all those like the little edges and pieces and then I'm like okay then it's then it's good and by the way if any of you watching this right now are going as an Animal Crossing character for Halloween please tell me who it is and please like comment who it is because I feel like barely anybody is going as Animal Crossing characters which like I'm not surprised but <laughs> if anybody is I just want to know like I'm curious I'm nosy and also if I wanted to make this more permanent I would sew it but <laughs> I don't want to do that but yeah if you if you wanted to make this permanent and you wanted it to like I don't know if you can put hot glue stuff in the washer or dryer um, but if you wanted to I would say like sew it by hand or something like that but hot glue works perfectly fine for just like a quick easy you know adhesive bond make sure to unplug my glue gun because one time i left it plugged in literally overnight in my office i was like oh my goodness thank goodness nothing happened there it is okay let's go try everything on oh this is gonna come out so good i'm so excited i thought that i could wear some different glasses because you know they're they have like the little like 
Ranuki, Ranuki, <laughs> raccoon tanuki eyes. Like they have like the little masks, but I'm not gonna do anything like that. So I thought I could just wear at least like some brownish glasses. So this is the best I got. So we're gonna go with that. So here we go. And I'm just wearing like my little sketchers because I don't know, I feel like that's what they would wear if they wore shoes. So yeah, here's the look. My braids are really messy, but I kind of like how it looks with braids. I think I'm gonna do this for actual Halloween, um, but yeah, it's like messy on the top and here, cause I slept in these braids, so just don't, don't mind. But I am gonna take them out too, cause I'm gonna take them out anyway today, but I'll see how this looks with like my hair out. So there we go, there's like my hair out. I think this came out so perfect. I think this is literally exactly what I was going for. I think just the little details came out so cute. It was simple. It didn't really take me that much work. I finished this on a weekend. So I literally feel like I'm in like a school uniform with this polo and the khakis, but that's besides the point. I'm gonna also take you to the living room so we can get like, I don't know, so I can back up more so you can get a full body fit. Hold on. We're, we're on a we're on a field trip right now. I don't know if this makes any difference at all, but I wanted to give you maybe slightly better lighting. I don't know, more neutral lighting. My office is pretty pinky when it comes to lighting. So. so let me know what you thought of this video in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this chaotic costume vlog type of, I don't know, really know what this was, but I hope you liked it. I hope that this inspires more people to be Timmy slash Tommy on Halloween. Just do it. It's so fun and easy. So yeah, I hope this gave you maybe some inspiration either for this or something else or I don't, I don't know, something. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like Animal Crossing and plushies and squishmallows and cute things. And also like this video if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.